Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can use Searchable in an iOS 15 and SwiftUI 3 project. So right here you can see I have a project up and running. I made it pretty simple. We're just using an observed object of a Star Wars view model. We coded this up together in a playground in a previous video that I did using async and await. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. You can see how we implemented that whole model. But for what I'm gonna show you today, you really just need a list and maybe some names or any other content you wanna put in it. So you can just make an array, add a bunch of names, and then use that array. So it'll work perfectly fine. So what I wanna show you how to do is how you can add searchable for a list or for each in SwiftUI. Now, if you were coming from UI kit world, you know adding search functionality was kind of a hassle, had to deal with the UI search controllers, all that stuff, that goes away completely. It's now become something very simple, simply just add dot searchable, and you can see we have searchable text. So it marks this view as searchable, configures the display of a search field. And that's really it, and now you see we just need a text, and it's gonna be a binding of type string. So let's go ahead and add that. We'll do an at state private var, and we'll just call it search text. And to start, we'll just set that equal to an empty string. And now we simply pass it in. We have our search text. And you'll see, once we resume this preview, that we're going to get a search bar that will just show up right underneath the title. So give this a second to load. Something to note, I am running Xcode 13, which at the time of recording is in beta. So you can see there might be some issues that are coming up. But you see now, we have our search bar. So if I go ahead, once this loads, you can actually see we're getting the names of characters from the Star Wars universe. So we're communicating with the Swappy API to get that. Again, go check out that other video to see how we did it. But here is the search bar. And you can see, once you start typing, nothing's happening. That's because we haven't actually implemented our functionality for using search. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a variable and I'm gonna call it filtered people. And this is going to be, in my case, an array of type person. Person is something we created as part of this Star Wars view model. And let's actually work this out. So if our search text is still empty, just return everyone in the list. So return Star Wars VM dot people. But if that's not the case, we're actually gonna return all the people whose name matches with the criteria that we're gonna write. So we'll do return uh, the Star Wars view model dot people, and we're gonna use filter. So we'll filter and we'll do dollar zero dot name. So if the name, and we'll use lowercase, so we don't care if people are typing in capital letters, lowercase letters, doesn't matter if the letter's the letter, it's gonna match. Dot lowercase dot contains search text dot lowercase. Then return those people who match this criteria. So this is just saying if the name of the person in the list, if a letter in there matches with our search text, return those people. So let's go ahead and try it. So we'll hit resume. You know what, let's not try it yet. First, we need to actually use our filtered people. So here, down in the list, let's replace this swvm.people with filtered people. We'll save that. And now, once this loads and actually gets our people in, our characters in, we can actually try our search functionality. So now you have the search bar, and there you go. We start typing things in, we start searching. So you have Darth, Skywalker. So it's working as expected. You can type in, and this will be super helpful if you have really big lists, you're trying to get to one specific item. But this is how you do it. This is how you implement Searchable as a part of iOS 15 using SwiftUI 3. So if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave it a like. I put out videos every week, or almost every week. So if you could go ahead and give it a like, consider subscribing, it helps me out. But thanks everybody for watching. Catch you in the next one. Oh,